Hi, assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are still in chapter 4, chemical bonding. And now we're going to focus on the subtopic of 4.1 degree structure, part 5 of the video. So in this video, we're going to learn on the explanation of the concept of resonance using appropriate example, in which we're going to cover this in part 5 of the video, which is in this video. For the learning outcome of F and G, we have looked about that in part 3A and 3B, as well as in part 4. So with any further ado, let us start with part 5 of the video first. So resonance structures. So resonance structures are basically two or more Lewis structure for a single molecule that cannot be represented accurately by only one Lewis structure. The resonance structure will be, repre will be represented by using a double-headed arrow as shown as here. So it's going to be drawn to be here and here. So double-headed arrow indicating that the structure to be resonance structure. So in a simple way, way you can say that resonance structure um, will have possibility of answers. So let's say if we have one Lewis structure to be something like this, but it does not necessarily have to be like this. It can also be something like this because they are essentially equal. And if you write to be like this or you write to be like this, both of these answers here are correct because they cannot be represented accurately by only one. It needs to have two or more. Okay, so this is what we meant by the resonance structure. So both of them are correct. Now let us look into the explanation on how we can apply resonance structure on the molecule of ozone. So ozone, which have O3 here, will have 3 times O, which is six valence electron for the oxygen and then we have 18 valence electron altogether so when we draw the lewis structure oxygen oxygen bonded with another oxygen so we're going to minus four we're going to balance with 12 electron okay and then this 12 electron will be used in order to octet their terminal atom so one two three here is 14 three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 14 minus 12, it's going to be 2 electron. The 2 electron here will then be used to fill their central atom. So lastly, you're going to get it to be something like this, which is O, O with a lone pair, and then O with triple lone pair and one bonding pairs. So this oxygen here will have 8 electron, which is octet. This oxygen here will have 8 electron, which is of that, but the central atom here will have 6 electron on, only. So it is not of that. So what they're going to do is that it's going to transfer 2 electron into the middle so that it can get 8 electron in total. So once we do that, we're going to get O. So from here, you know that the two lone pairs are going to be transferred here to make a double bond. So as a result, the central atom here will have eight electrons altogether, two, four, six, and eight. Similarly, here will have eight electrons altogether, and here will also have eight electrons altogether, which is all of that. Okay, so this is possibility number one, which is eight. And you can also use this lone pair or this lone pair and you will still get the same answer okay but you can also use another possibility for example from the right hand side here so from the right hand side here you can choose any lone pair for example if i choose this one i can bring this lone pair to the middle okay and you can um, imagine that the step a does not happen So it can be A ways or the B ways. So let's say I'm going to use the B ways. It's going to be O double bond here. One, two, three, four. O and then it's going to be single bond on the left hand side. 
Okay, so the same thing, you're going to get 8 electron here. This one will have 2, and then we'll have 8 electron here, and then we'll also get the 8 electron here. So, either you're using the B method or the A method, you essentially will get to the same answer because the double bond can be on the left hand side or it can be on the right hand side but essentially they are the same they are identical because you can flip through that okay so both of these methods are basically equal and acceptable okay and to make life easier if you don't want to decide between left hand side or right hand side you can also put it in terms of the dash line here because you know that the electron will be continuously moving across the atom. So you can also put it to be something like this. And then here. So you know that the electron will jump, will form double bond here or there continuously. So in order to simplify that, we can also put it in terms of the dashed line here, as shown as here. Okay, but for chapter 4, the idea of like this, it is more popular and more applicable. So in exams or in questions, the structure of resonance will always be shown to be like this, with a double-headed arrow to show that the multiple bond or the double bond can be formed either on the left-hand side or on the right-hand side. Okay. And as what you can see here, the pattern or the shape here is a bit different. So it looks like a straight line, but here it looks like a band. Okay, so the difference between this drawing and this drawing is because of Vesper theory, V S E P R, where we're gonna learn about this in the next video, which is in the subtopic of 4.2. Okay. But for now, both of these are acceptable. Okay. Now let us look into the example one here. So for example number one, what are the resonance structure on the carbonate ion, which is CO3 to minus ion? So as usual, we need to draw the Lewis structure first. So carbon will have four electron, and then oxygen three times six electron. We're gonna have eighteen. And then we're going to have the charge here, which is 2 minus. So when we have the charge of 2 minus, means that we're going to blast it with 2. Okay, which means that it received 2 electrons. Okay, so the total number of electrons that we're going to get is 24 electrons. So this 24 electron will now be used in order to make the Lewis structure. So our central atom here is going to be the carbon because it is more electro positive. So carbon. At the center, and then it's going to be bonded with three oxygen atoms one, two, and three. So when it is bonded with three oxygen atoms, so it's going to be minus six, two, four, six. Here. So the balance is eight electron, 18 electron. So this 18 electron will be used in order to complete the octet termin the octet of the terminal atom first. So one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 18 electron altogether has been used up in order to complete their terminal atom. Okay, so the structure that you're going to get is to be something like this, and then you can put the bracket of 2 minus here to show that the charge is consistent. But as what you can see here, the oxygen here is octet, octet, and here is also octet. The carbon here is not octet yet. So what you can do is you can bring the lone pair electron to the center. So you can use this way, A here, so that it's going to form like this, which is a structure, or you can use 
the long pair from this another oxygen here. So you can choose any of these. Let's say I'm choosing this one. Step B, then I will gonna produce the long, the double bond to be here. And the other oxygen atom will not be back there. Okay, and then 2 minus, and this is structure B. Or I can use the possibility of using this lone pair of the oxygen here. So I can choose any of the lone pairs here, here, or here. Mana -mana pun sama sahaja. So let's say I'm going to take this one and make it step number C. Okay, level C here. So since I'm taking the long pair to make the double bond from here, so my double bond is going to be at the oxygen C here. Okay. So we can put it here, 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 here. And then C. Sorry, oxygen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. And then oxygen. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, and then here will also be 6, and then bracket with 2 minus. So this is the structure C here. So either structure A or B or C will be accepted because you have three possible ways in order to make the carbon to be octet. And this is going to be represented by a double headed arrow. Okay? So the possible answer is to be like this which is double bond in this CO here. Or you can make a double bond on the left-hand side. Or you can make a double bond on the right-hand side. Okay? So you can put like negative and negative here. Or you can eliminate the negative and negative here. And then make a 2 minus overall to be here is also acceptable. So up to you. Let's say I'm going to do it like this. Then my structure here is going to be consistent to what we with I with what I have below here. And then what you're going to learn is that in the next subtopic, you're going to learn that the structure is not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to look like this. Dia sepatutnya berbentuk begini. Dan bukannya begini. Why is that? This is because of the influence of Vesper theory where you're going to learn that in the next video which is in the subtopic of 4.2. So stay tuned for that. And for this reason, the reason, the reason structure will going to be drawn to be something like this and I hope the concept of resonance is clear to you where we can get many answers but all these answers are correct. Okay, so I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!